Good morning and welcome to day 128 northbound on the Appalachian Trail. It uh, definitely thundered last night at the Sages Ravine campsite in Massachusetts and uh, it actually was pretty steady rain for a lot of the night. I mean I slept so I don't know about all night but a couple times when I woke up it was raining. Uh, but it stopped relatively early this morning because uh, my tent was, my fly was almost dry when I woke up. So that's a good, good sign. And we stayed perfectly dry. So my little uh, twine that I attached to the edges of the platform worked well. So that was encouraging for future uh, tent platform setups. <laughs> anyway, so today's a... Uh, uh, Interesting day. So in Massachusetts and Connecticut, uh, you are not allowed to stealth camp. You can only camp in designated campsites. So the next shelter is six miles away, which is too short. The one after that is 20 miles away, which is too long. Um, I really don't want to do 20 miles today. I don't think that would be good for me or Micah. Um, so I have decided to go 14 miles into Great Barrington at Route 7. And at this moment, my husband is calling because I don't have a good signal. My husband is calling the Quality Inn to see if they have a room tonight. It's a Saturday night, so I don't know. We'll see. It'll probably be ghastly expensive, but it's okay. I don't want to hike 20 miles to the next shelter. Plus, the next shelter is under construction. So I read that in Far Out. So it's really not a great option. And it would be okay to spend a night in Great Barrington. Uh, spend a night there and then uh, head on to the next stop, which would be probably, I don't know, I have to look at the map, but we're getting into the Berkshires now and close to Tanglewood and all that. So uh, it might be hard to find places to stay on weekends. So we'll see. <laughs> I'd rather camp, to be honest with you. I'd much rather camp. So, all right. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. I'm on the summit of Mount Ledges, and it's beautiful. Nice breeze up here. Little hazy in the distance, but really gorgeous. Started the morning with a little bit of a river walk, and now a big climb to get up here. Beautiful. So this is Mount Race Ledges. And I just came to another outcropping, which is even more beautiful, incredible, incredible view, and a huge drop. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm just walking along this, this ledge right now, and it's, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice breeze. <clears throat> it's pretty warm, so we're not going to hang out here. And it's still morning, so it's probably going to be a hot one today. So pretty. It's so beautiful here on this Mount Race ledges that I just couldn't rush. So I'm just sitting here. I ate my protein bar. And now <laughs> I'm going to sing you my Massachusetts song. Feel 
I'm going back to Massachusetts. <clears throat> Something's telling me I'm almost home. And the lights all went out in Massachusetts the day I left. Him standing on his own. Try to hitch a ride to the North Shore. <laughs> Gotta do the things I wanna do. And the lights all went out in Massachusetts. <laughs> oh gosh, the day they brought me back to see with you or something like that talk about my life in massachusetts speak of all the people that i know and the lights all went out in massachusetts oh massachusetts that's one place that I know I will remember Massachusetts. I do remember Massachusetts. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's an old Bee Gees song, and it has Massachusetts in it a lot. <laughs> so there's your Massachusetts song. All right, well, we got to mosey, mosey on. We have Mount Everett to climb. And my dear husband just did book me a room in the Quality Inn tonight. So I will be staying in a hotel tonight. Not my favorite um, staying in a hotel. I'd much rather camp, but it's okay. Better than doing 20 miles. And maybe I'll even find a meal in town. So Great Barrington tonight. That's the plan. After we hike another, I think we have about 11 more miles to go. So having fun. It's beautiful here. And hope you're all having a great Saturday. Yeah, Mount Everett. Whew, this baby is steep. I don't think there's one dry spot on my shirt and I am sweating profusely. But we're going to get to the top. Right, Micah? So we're on the summit of Mount, Mount Everett. And uh, it's been an incredible climb and it's beautiful and it's warm and we're all going to sit here and have some lunch. And joining me is Biba. Biba. Biba, who just got back from a wedding. Uh, not the wedding. I was in New York. But oh, okay. The wedding's coming up still. Oh, that's still coming up? Yeah. I'm off trail again for a week. Oh, okay. Biba, and tell, remind me where you're from again. Chicago. Chicago. Uh, Dropalopagus from Austin. Dropalopagus. That's right. We met before, and you're from Austin, where it's yes. really hot this time of year, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And who do we have here? Hey, I'm uh, Blue Moon from Alabama. Alabama. Yep. And there are, he told me there are hills and mountains in there Alabama. Are. Yes. And that's where he trained. Yep. Amazing. And then we have Rumpelstiltskin here. Nope, Rapunzel. Oh, close. Ah! <laughs> I got my grim fairy tales all mixed up. It's all a fairy tale. Rapunzel. <laughs> We're out here living our best lives. I know. From Florida. <laughs> from Florida. And she's lashing. So she's going from, tell me where you started again started in Falls Village and I will stop in Gorham. Okay, so she's going all the way to over the, she's going to the Greens and the White Mountains and stopping in Gorham. And uh, yeah, she's from Florida, Flatlander, and she's crushing these mountains. <sighs> Picking my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're all going to Great Barrington. I don't know about you guys, but that's where I'm heading tonight. I actually yes. got the last room at the Quality Inn. You did. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's where I'm heading. Where are you guys heading? I think Barrington. Great Barrington. Barrington. Yeah. The community center? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hear it's okay there too. Tenning for $8. <laughs> Tenning for $8, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Well, it's lunchtime. It's beautiful up here. We're just hiking north towards Great Barrington. And all those mountains north of here are the Berkshires. So we're getting closer. To Vermont. I'm feeling more like New England. Whenever I get to a summit, there's a pile of rocks, there's the Cairns, 
So we don't see that in the south. It's uh, wonderful. And tons of spruces and hemlocks and maples. Yep, feels like home. We've been on these beautiful fields and past some cornfields. And then we were in a pine forest. So we've had everything today. It's been really beautiful. And the mountains were great. So we are heading to Route 7 right now. And we're gonna be picked up by Papa Joe, shuttle driver, and uh, head over to the Quality Inn for the evening. And uh, yeah, it's been a really great day. I think we're gonna have somewhere between 14 and 15 miles by the time we finish. So a good day with a lot of climbing and a lot of change in terrain um, and awesome weather. So, what else can you ask for? Currently in downtown Great Barrington, and they're, it's Saturday night, and they're having a big festival here, a music festival in the middle of town. Um, I just ate at that uh, Baba Louie's pizza, which was great because they had a non-dairy pizza, which I enjoyed very much, and I'm gonna eat half of it tomorrow for my lunch on trail. I have to just figure out how to pack it out of this box. Anyway, lots of happenings here in Great Barrington. It was just a quick walk from my hotel. And now I'm gonna to go to Dollar General and see if I can um, get some electrolytes and a little bit of protein for mica and back to the hotel room and put my feet up because I am tired. It was a great day, great hike. Um, yeah, and as you can see, there's people eating outside. There's uh, sushi and all sorts of restaurants that are catering to the outdoors in this beautiful night. So, something's going on down there. We'll go check it out. Step one, we are about to enter the danger zone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may well be thinking that this rope is not very high off the ground. Well, listen, in every single instance of somebody dying from falling off a tightrope, he's never been the height that's killed them. Always the ground. <laughs> Let's have a big chin now! Yeah. I'm going backwards, there's step one. There's two. Gonna have to do for three, John. Whoa. Whoa, oh, you're gonna get a close shave. If I get this next bit right, oh boy. everybody go. Get oh. it <laughs> This guy is incredible. Ah. <laughs> 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 